no one much remembers or celebrates the day it began, June 22nd, 1941. We don't revere history's low points, and this was a point so low, so utterly tragic, so full of terror and suffering, that words, sounds, even pictures fail to comprehend its dark dimensions. Who then or since has had the imagination to grasp the parameters or plumb the depths of this war over the lands of Eastern Europe? The raging hatreds, the appalling indignities, the terror, the killing, the slaughter of more than 25 million of the world's people. of these Germans so long after and wonder what they thought, how they felt on that hot, dusty June day. They were certainly smug and arrogant and supremely confident. Theirs was the superlative army which had swept Western Europe, which had prostrated France and humbled England, which would now easily destroy Russia. They could not, would not know that this last glorious dash for victory would descend into a nightmare which would last 1400 days and bring Russia to the steps of Hitler's bunker. This was to be a war fought without compassion or soldierly honor, a titanic struggle in the murky atmosphere of kerosene and cordite, in choking heat and flesh-killing cold, a war which would soak the earth with the life's blood of nameless millions and warp and twist the very souls of those who survived. 